Deborah. Welcome to yet another episode of Screwed by Rockland County Courts. Welcome back. Today I would like to start off with the whole thing with the court-appointed attorneys for the children, court-appointed forensics examiners, the law guardians, who they call the lawyers for the children, um, making uh, decisions for your children's lives. I just want to start off to say they are appointed by the court, and in essence, the court is their employer, and you're paying them for their services. And in general, um, if you look at it in their reality, um, they get all this work from the court. So who do they want to please? They want to please the court. So what happens is um, you're kind of put in a funny position, and I know I've lived through this. Um, I had a family therapist that was in place, um, and my children absolutely love this man. And uh, they felt, the law guardian at the time, that he was considered a conflict of interest because I also knew him and saw him. Now, if the court could explain to me how that my knowing this professional is a conflict of interest, but yet it is not a conflict of interest when the lawyers for the children and these forensic examiners all have relationships with the judges, the lawyers, the courts. Isn't that a conflict of interest? I would say so, but yet we're left with having to let them into our homes, um, speak to our children, and then uh, make the decision what they are going to relate to the judge and um, what do you think they are most likely to relate to the judge? What the judge wants to hear. Now that is from my experience. I had a first law guardian on the case who I had removed because she wasn't doing her job for my children. And um, I filed a motion to have her removed, which made, a, uh, which made Judge Alfieri actually uh, very angry. He felt she was so highly respected and um, yet she wasn't doing her job. Um, a, a law guardian, a lawyer for the children, is not to play the role of a therapist, nor get in touch with the therapist and make her recommendations known. It should be left to the therapist that they are in essence forcing you to go see to give you her professional opinion. Well, from experience, when I would first meet with these therapists, um, they would give me their opinion. And then all of a sudden, a phone call would come in and they'd hear from the attorney for the children. And then all of a sudden what they told me changed. I have a high regard and respect for the mental health profession. And I have to say during the course of time that I have spent in the courts, um, I was losing that respect, but I realized that what was going on was not the norm. You genuinely go to a therapist, they're really out there to help you. When you go to a therapist that has a relationship with the law guardian, the lawyer for the children, their relationship is more important because that's the person that's going to bring them more cases, and that's more money, that's income. My case goes away. Whatever they've done to add to uh, cause more issues than there were to begin with, um, they don't care about because they keep getting more business. And it's the same when you first walk into court. You have an already bad situation, and it winds up turning into worse. So it's like everybody's on board to take what's going on, your life, and make it worse instead of better. So I found that also very disappointing, coming into a court where you feel you're gonna get justice, and here you are, a mother, raising children, doing all that you're supposed to be doing, and everything gets turned around um, because they want to 
make sure that they are providing the information that the court wants to hear. And that I do not respect. Before I end today, I would like to invite others to come on um, in person or if you feel comfortable calling in on the phone or whether you would prefer to um, keep your anonymity and um, you know um, your voice can be changed and things can be done where you're shaded out, but that you still have the opportunity to come forward and, and, and tell your story. Until there is justice in our judicial system, there'll be a lot more of this to come. Please follow me on Facebook, Screwed by Rockland Courts. Subscribe to my Screwed by Rockland Courts YouTube channel, Twitter at Screw Rock Law, and on my website, Screwed by rocklandcourts.com. If you would like to email me, I can also be reached at screwedbyrocklandcourts at gmail.com.